We're staged for another run of Nitro Fueled NHRA Talk. It's the Straight Line, presented by O'Reilly Auto Parts, with Marty Huff and 10 time NHRA winner Doug Herbert. Brought to you by Hercules Tires. Now, here are your hosts, Doug and Marty. This is the Straight Line on Drag Racing. Thanks for stopping by our half hour of, horse, of horsepower. Appreciate you being with us. We're headed to Houston and no better person to talk to than the hometown favorite, two time pro stock champion, Erica Enders will join us. And we'll also catch up with 2012 funny car champion, Jack Beckman as well. We're in the beams and set to launch another edition of the Straight Line. Wherever you may be, coast to coast, around the world, this is the Straight Line on Drag Racing at MRN.com. Along with four-time IHRA Top Fuel Champion, ten-time NHRA National Event winner Doug Herbert, I am Marty Huff. Doug, it's been the longest break that we've had all year and the longest one we will see all season long. So what have teams, crews, drivers been doing to help keep themselves sharp and make sure that everything's ready to go by the time they get to Houston? Well, I think there's going to be a little bit of relaxing. Probably most of the teams will have at least weekends off uh, going into the, you know, going into this little bit of a downtime. But they're they're getting parts piled up. They're getting yeah. they're getting rested up because uh, the next three weeks are going to be three straight, and it's not like three straight next door to each other. You know, going yeah. from Texas to Charlotte, uh, you know, and, and back around to Atlanta. So there's going to be some running around. They're probably not going to be going back and forth to their shops in Indy. So uh, they got to be ready for three weeks on the road and three weeks of a lot of work. Yeah, yeah no question about that. When you get to Baytown, uh, officially it's 10 feet, not 10 miles, 10 feet above sea level. So uh, the good thing for the nitro cars is that there's going to be a lot of oxygen, and a lot of stuff that you can play with when you get to Houston. Well, and it probably helps actually the pro mod or pro stock cars more than anybody else because they've got the high barometric pressure. They've got better conditions down there. In uh, you know, back years ago, there was a lot of the records set down at Houston, and right. I think the track conditions maybe have deteriorated a little bit since then. So I don't know that you're going to see the national record performances, but you could. So uh, Houston is a place where we can see fast times. Uh, really good runs by pro stock cars as well as the nitro cars. It, it could definitely be an interesting weekend. Because nowadays you really need to have the mine shaft type conditions uh, to run wor world record type times. You're probably not going to find that at Houston usually. It's usually a little more uh, moist. It's a little warmer there. Yeah. But I mean, it's you don't fast know. times. Yeah, so you I, don't know this time of year. You could, yeah. you know, there could be a storm blows through and all of a sudden it's a high pressure uh, cool air comes in and then guess what? You're record time. So <laughs> yeah. you just never know. The track conditions typically, you know, they're not going to be as good of track conditions in uh, Houston as they typically have maybe here in Charlotte or some of the really, really good, super good tracks, which Houston used to be. But, uh, the, you know, when the weather's good, it'll kind of make up for a lot of that. Yeah. Uh how did you do at Houston, uh, at officially Royal Purple Raceway? Uh, I've done. I've had some really good times there. I know in, in I think, in 92 and 93, we were semifinalists and uh, were uh, final rounds a couple times. But in probably the biggest race, I think, actually, the biggest maybe NHRA race payday ever, I won that No Bull shootout yeah. uh, right back right. there in 1999. And it was yeah. like a $200,000 win, which is the biggest win in NHRA history. It maybe still is. Uh, for that noble shoot, uh, yeah. noble showdown or whatever they had right. NASCAR. I think a couple, maybe NASCAR guys won that. Uh, Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon won. I don't a, remember a, who a million else. Dollars, they yeah. were a million dollars. Yeah, yeah, we were only easily two hundred <laughs> grand, but it was still two hundred grand for you know, all my crew guys. Were pretty happy because they all got a bonus uh, based on the winnings of the car. So that was pretty cool. And, and back in the day, I mean, today a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand dollars would be a huge payday. Right now, the Traxxas Nitro shootout, I, I believe, is $100,000. And that's today, in today's money. Yeah. I mean, back in uh, 99, 2000. Yeah, yeah 99. I mean, Our whole budget was probably, uh, for to run that whole year, I guess, was probably 1.2 or 1.3 million. So to win a couple hundred thousand in one weekend, right. that's a pretty big pretty big hit. So yeah. Yeah, that, was a, that was a big deal. Yeah, and no question about it. Coming up, we'll talk to Erica Enders about uh, headed home. And she doesn't live in the Houston area anymore. But uh, she is the hometown girl. And we've talked about it in other shows that coming to your hometown track is always kind of fun, but there's a lot of 
uh, there's a lot of stress. All and your a friends want to come out. All your friends want to visit you <laughs> because they're, yeah. uh, you know, they think, oh, you got a race car, you must be able to get us free tickets. So it doesn't really work like that. Having an NHRA race car or a professional team, you don't get a bunch of free tickets, but all your friends seem yeah. to think you do, and they want to come out and cheer you on and and help support you and all that, which is great. So you know, it's a it's a little bit hard figuring out the between the professional and the home life. And, uh, you know, the work that we have to get done at the racetrack. So I'm sure Erica's is going to have her hands full out there this weekend at, at Houston with a lot of family, a lot of friends and a lot of fans. It's nice to be the host with the most uh, a lot of times. But uh, there's uh, there's a time that you got to get out and, and race and be a professional. So it's a fine right. line. Well, and obviously Erica knows how to do that. She can put sure. on her helmet and, and, you know, it goes from being, uh, you know, doing PR and being a being the fan favorite to put the helmet on and, and rip somebody throw murderer. it out. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I, I, I don't think Eric will have any problem with doing that when she needs to. So yeah. we'll be happy to talk to her a little bit about that here in a minute. Exactly. So uh, when we come back from the break, we will talk to the Houston native Erica Enders will join us next. Oh, oh, oh. O'Reilly. Restore your vehicle's lost power by cleaning your entire fuel system with Chevron Tecron Fuel System Cleaner. Right now, buy one bottle, get one free at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Keep your engine clean and improve performance with Chevron Tecron Fuel System Cleaner. Buy one, get one free at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Limit supply. See store for details. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Are you ready? to help children forget about their serious medical conditions so they can just be a kid. Yeah! Then support Victory Junction, which is the dream of late race driver Adam Petty, who wanted to build a camp where children concentrate on fun and laughter, not illness or disability. At Victory Junction, kids enjoy zip lining, horseback riding, swimming, fishing, all in a medically safe environment, all at no cost to the camper. What do you say, Richard Petty? Let's do this. Learn more at victoryjunction.org. Do you need help with moving your equipment? Industry leading companies do, and they trust Housby Transport to move their internal equipment promptly and professionally. At Housby Transport, we pride ourselves on efficiency, timeliness, and saving our customers money with our team of logistics managers always ready to assist you in any way possible. Any size, any type, anywhere. Housby Transport is ready to move. For more information and to obtain a quote, visit Housby.com. Housby, an official sponsor of NASCAR for over 40 years. You're logged in to the straight line. Brought to you by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Here's Doug and Marty. As we mentioned, uh, even though that she doesn't live in the Houston area anymore, Royal Purple Raceway is her home track, and so uh, she she is kind of the homecoming queen this weekend. So we join uh, we're joined on the telephone line right now uh, by the 2014 2015 Pro Stock Champion Erica Enders joins us. Thanks for being with us. Appreciate your time. Hey guys, thanks for having me on. How are y'all? Doing good. Hey Erica, the, your up, elite Doug? team. Hey, good to talk to you. I know. <laughs> hey, your elite team, man, you guys are so strong. And last year with the switch over to the Dodges, it kind of, it just got you bogged down. Had moments of greatness, but you know, it's, it, it was, uh, did you guys expect to have as much difficulty making those cars run as what it seemed to be? Absolutely not. <laughs> we would not have taken that project on had we thought it was going to end up that way. Having said that, we knew it was going to be a challenge, and we committed to Mopar prior to the NHRA rule change for electronic fuel injection and the 10,500 RPM limiter. So, um, you know, hindsight's always twenty twenty, but that was just a lot of changes to take on in one year, and Parts were very scarce, couldn't get them, and uh, just uh, didn't have the best season. But we're moving onward and upward. Well, yeah, you're already seventh in points uh, going into this year, which is good. So you're right back on track, it seems like. Uh, that's funny, huh? Right back on track. Okay, well, <laughs> I, I saw what you did there. I saw what you did there, yeah. Good. But, you know, you, like you say, that's just a lot of changes with the fuel injection, the engines, the cars, the rev limiter. Yeah, that's a lot. But it seems like the cars are running well. Um, the That elite motorsport team, it seems like Richard Freeman does what he needs to do to make sure you guys have everything that it's going to take to win. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was uh, it was definitely a challenge. And, um, Richard has given us all the keys that we need to, uh, you know, for success. He did it in 14 and 15. Uh, you know, parts and pieces were the only struggle in, in 16. And I 
I kind of say it jokingly, but I mean it. I'm dead serious. I think what we went through last year would have torn a lot of teams apart, and we didn't lose one person. We were we're uh, we're strong as ever, and you know it builds character. And um, I'm proud to to still have the same group of guys, and we're working really hard at, at getting back on top of things. Yeah, and you said in a press release that we're not lacking in confidence. I mean, you, you still uh, kind of have that championship swagger, even though last year was a, a, a real challenge. But it was a challenge for a lot of teams. The only team that really didn't have one was the KB team. So it, can you kind of you know, expect that as a, as a throwaway year? Yeah, I, I'll be happy to throw it away. Yeah. <laughs> we barely made the countdown to the championship. Um, you know, and, and ironically enough, you, you said the KV guys were the ones that, that did not struggle. They did not. They dominated. But they were, you know, ironically enough, they were the ones that complained the most. So <laughs> it's kind of funny how things work out sometimes. But, um, you know, it was just it was just one of them years. And, and the Dodge stuff, it, I mean, they were a great partner, um, Dodge and, and Mopar and SRT. And it was just really a, a really cool partnership. And it was unfortunate that we could not get parts, and then when we did, um, the, the Mopar stuff kills the Chevrolet stuff at a high RPM, but with the new rev limiter, we, we can't get there. So, unfortunately, it was just a huge detriment. But anyway, um, you know, I'm excited about this year. We're, we're back in a, in a proven program with my 2014 championship car, my Rick Jones Camaro, and the uh, horsepower made by Elite Performance. So we're, uh, we're very excited about what's to come, very optimistic. Well, and you've had pretty good luck, I'd say, down at Houston with your first win ever coming back years ago uh, down there. I, re I remember seeing you racing and winning that sportsman car, even junior dragster. Gosh, I've been around a long time. So, uh, <laughs> you know, going home to your home track, really, always, you know, that's always got to be a little bit of confidence and, and uh, having all your friends and, and longtime fans down there to come out and root you on. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I was listening to you guys talk before I came on, and, you know, home track starts always fun and exciting but they're always a challenge because they're just filled with distractions um you know but that's something that we've we've learned to handle and, and take care of and put you know aside to be able to focus on the, the task at hand and that's going rounds and winning races so um we were able to to get it done in houston in 14 and in 15 and then going backwards to what you said super gas in 2004 so I have a lot of history at, at Royal Purple Raceway and a lot of success there and obviously a lot of fun memories. So I'm excited to head home and, and be back in front of the hometown crowd. And my husband, Richie, is actually racing Derek Kramer's car this weekend there too. So his whole family will be there. And so oh, wow. it'll be crowded and crazy yeah. and just uh, insane. <laughs> yeah, and, and I was going to ask about that because that's just, uh, it's not a distraction because obviously uh, you want the best for your husband's career as well and uh, getting a shot, at getting back into pro stock is good, but uh, there's just a, a, another level of competition, another level of uh, interest there with Rookie being uh, also uh, in, the, uh, in the show as well. Yeah, it's, uh, he's, definitely excited i think the last pro stock race that he competed at was denver uh last summer so he's mm. excited to get back behind the wheel that was his first time you know in the car with the new efi stuff and obviously drivability of the cars has changed significantly so he was able to get used to it then but richie's a pretty natural driver i mean he can get in anything and just do really well so um i'm sure he'll acclimate just fine and um be, be ready to get back behind the wheel but he's excited um, he's done his fair share of crap talking this week. That's what he's <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I've, of course, I've joked back and told him he better pack a lunch. But yeah. we're uh, it's all in good fun. And, of course, I'm, I'm happy for him to be back out there. I mean, we've only got 13 pro stock cars on the property this weekend, which is a sad day. But, um, you know, we need all the competitors out there that we can get. Hey, uh, tell us a little bit about the movie. I mean, my kids, your movie, Right on Track, when – uh, my kids were young. They loved that. Watch that movie. Must have, I think we wore out four VHS tapes playing it. You know? <laughs> Do you have a lot of fans still come up that can relate to you and are, are your fans because of making them fans when they were young uh, because of the movie? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and they still to this day air it on the Disney Channel. It's so crazy that wow. it was released in March of 03. So I, I can't believe that was, what, 14 years ago? That makes me feel even old. But um <laughs> Yeah, I still get kids out at the track that, that tell the stories about seeing the movie on the Disney Channel. And, you know, they had never been to an NHRA drag race before, but 
they they begged their parents to go and ask Santa Claus for a junior dragster, and I mean, now they've been racing for all these years and won all these trophies. So it's really surreal for me to hear all of these really cool stories because they look at me like I look at Shirley Muldowney or Angel or Shelly Anderson Payne, you know? Like I, I recognize that look in their eye that I have for, for those females. So I'm, I'm proud to be in that position. And uh, this weekend uh, gets a, uh, a sponsorship lift from the uh, from Houston-based Lupe Tortilla as well. So uh, uh, you you'll see a little extra paint on the side of her car this weekend. <laughs> Erica Anders, thanks so much for your time. We really appreciate it, and good luck this weekend at Royal Purple Raceway. Thank y'all. It was good to talk to you guys. Erica Anders, the. 2014-2015 Pro Stock Champion joining us on the straight line. And when we return, we will talk to the 2012 Funny Car Champion. Jack Beckman will join us next. Whatever you drive, wherever you go, Hercules Tires will get you there. Whether you're running on dirt or running a job. Our dependable, high-quality tires are the perfect fit for your needs. For unmatched value, selection, and warranty with industry-leading road hazard protection, there's only one choice, Hercules Tires. To learn more, visit HerculesTire.com or call 800-677-9535. Hercules Tires, right on our strength. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Restore your vehicle's lost power by cleaning your entire fuel system with Chevron Tecron Fuel System Cleaner. Right now, buy one bottle, get one free at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Keep your engine clean and improve performance with Chevron Tecron Fuel System Cleaner. Buy one, get one free at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Limit supply. See store for details. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. After more than 1 million hours of development, the truck of the future has arrived. The new Cascadia from Freightliner. Inspired by science, driven by passion. It's loaded with driver-focused improvements, such as noise abatement technologies for an even quieter ride, an innovative wraparound dashboard for improved comfort, and a reimagined driver's lounge that promotes productivity and relaxation. Experience the new Cascadia at your dealer or online at Freightliner.com. You're listening to The Straight Line, brought to you by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Now, back to Marty Huff and Doug Herbert. Oh, it's good to catch up with one of our favorites on the telephone line with us right now is the 2012 Funny Car Champion in NHRA competition. Jack Beckman joins us. Jack, thanks for your time. We really appreciate it. I haven't given you anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you made the call. <laughs> hey, you, you guys will appreciate this. You know, 30 years ago, it took an hour of a workout to get you sweating and dripping and your heart rate up. Now all I've got to do is load a bunch of crap on the trailer, and I feel that way in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speaking of that, uh, going back here earlier in the year, you loaned me that car dolly, so I don't know if I got a chance to tell you thank you for loaning me your car dolly. And the well, best thing was is you delivered it and picked it up to me as well. Wow, service with a smile. <laughs> yeah, I know. You, you, uh, Jack's you, great. The funny thing, Marty, I, I never got the invoice from Doug. I sent it to him, but I never got the check in the mail. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny. I just sold that, and I think I got 100 bucks more because I told everybody Doug Herbert used it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, right. You better pay him then for that thing. Hey, so, you know, Jack, one thing I've wanted to ask you, uh, you know, we've talked after you won your championship. There's, you've accomplished so many things. Is there anything left that you haven't accomplished? Like, what's driving Jack Beckman right now at the drag races? Wow, that's a great question. I, I, well, you've set the records. You've won the championship. You've won yeah, the races. I, I mean, you've done it all, really. And but, uh, but you, you obviously know, still I, love it. I, I, yeah, I wonder. Like, I wonder if uh, if Joe DiMaggio, or or somebody that was that was still functioning in their prime, you know, it wasn't time to retire. I mean, there's certain sports that you age out, and I think one of the things that makes drag racing so awesome is you got a guy 67 years old by the name of John Force still at the top of his game. you got Chris Karamasinas, who's 80-something and can still do this. So I don't know that I ever sit down and think about that. You know, I'm married with little kids, so I don't get much chance to sit down, and I don't do much thinking since <laughs> I said I do. But I, I think that if you went back 15 years ago and somebody said, would you be happy with, 24 national event wins in a funny car, two in a super comp car, three shootout trophies, an Indy double, uh, and, and a world championship, I would have thought, well, I'll never be able to do that. 
Mm-hmm. And I don't think that's a pessimistic attitude. It's just the planet's got to line up to get with the team, to get with the, a, a, a crew, to get the car running right, for everything to fall into place for that. But I think you'll know this well. Racers are never satisfied. Like, if you win a trophy, you can't wait for the next weekend if there's a race because you want to go win another trophy. So I don't think that you need to set a mountain as a long-term goal. I think for us, there's 24 goals each year, and it's that Wally at the end of the day on Sunday. Now, things got more complicated when they went to the countdown points format because you could struggle early and still win the championship or vice versa. Uh, but I think to answer your question, I've got a, a 10-year-old and a, and a 5-year-old, and I think making the house payment and, and <laughs> keeping food on the table, you, you know, and maybe putting some money away for their college funds, um, there is no job security in being a nitro driver. And I don't know what I will do if and when this job ends. So I think my short-term goal is to keep my job, and the best way to do that is to you know, perform at the top of your game week in and week out. Well, and I think you're, I think you're able to do that pretty well. I just wondered, uh, you know, when we asked you a few years ago, what are you gonna do now? You've won the championship, how's that gonna change your life? And I thought the neatest thing was your answer. You go, well, you know what? I don't think it's gonna change it at all. And I was like, you know, that's what exactly I thought you would say. And, and uh, yeah, so yeah, proud to I, have you. you know proud what, to, the, you're my friend. What it did is it put an extra line on my resume. But uh, it's funny because I still coach my son's little league, and, and I go to his hockey. I don't know anything about hockey except it's cold and it's expensive. But <laughs> it's funny when the other parents there, after maybe three or four months, they find out what I do, and then they'll go Google it, and they're like, oh, I didn't know you were famous, and I start laughing. And then we, we all make a joke out of it because – I'm not famous. I'm just me. I'm the same guy I was 20 years ago. I've just had a few more birthdays. I got married and I had some kids, so your priorities change. I still mow my own lawn. I'm loading up the car rotisserie to take back to my buddy who loaned it to me because I painted the underside of my El Camino. I'm restoring my hot rod. I I still think I'm that same guy. I don't think the sport's jaded me, and and why should it? I I mean, at the end of the day, we're all pretty damn lucky to get a a paycheck to go 300 miles an hour Mm. and get a chance to to drive a winning car. Uh, Friday morning before we qualify at Houston, I'll go to the children's hospital there and spend some time. And it's not because I'm a wonderful person. It's because I'm a guy that's been given some opportunities. And for whatever reason, people want to listen to me because I drive a fast car. And uh, it's flattering. It's kind of humbling. It's a little bit embarrassing sometimes. I just went to Home Depot and bought some stuff to hang blinds in the garage today and because i spent half my life there a couple of the employees know me and they follow drag racing and it's kind of cool in other words i haven't lost the fan aspect of this i still very much appreciate that i get to do what i do and i still very much love drag racing jack uh, unfortunately some bad news last week and i'll, uh, I'll actually read from the uh, the pr re- uh, release from don schumacher racing uh terry chandler who um supports and funds the Infinite Hero car that Jack Beckman drives and also the Make-A-Wish car of Tommy Johnson Jr. Uh, she had an MRI last week and revealed a tumor on the front uh, on the front lobe of her brain that was removed last Monday. Uh, she's going to be spending some time at home resting before beginning radiation and chemotherapy treatments. And uh, we wish the best to Terry Chandler, the Gray family, and everybody involved there for a speedy recovery. But Jack, because of her efforts, you've been able to uh, become involved in the Infinite Hero Foundation. Uh, that's on the side of your car. We talk about that a lot when you come on. Just for those that may not know, what is Infinite Hero and what does it do? So uh, years ago, Colin Baden, the CEO of Oakley, they have tons of military contracts. They've developed long-term friendships with a lot of the active duty people and a lot of the procurement people. And when the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq started and then the injured vets started coming home, some of them were their friends. And Colin said, we have to do something. So he looked around, and there's over 40,000 nonprofits out there that are supposed to help the injured vets. And he thought, I think we can do this in a better way. I think that we can eliminate nearly all the overheads so the highest percentage of the the funds that are raised go directly to helping the vets. So what we do is we have a grant committee that's all volunteer, and they look at pre-existing programs. We don't want to waste any of the fundings 
starting a program from scratch when there's so many out there that actually work fantastic. Uh, Brain Treatment Center for the for the soldiers with PTS and with uh, traumatic brain injury. Vail uh, Veteran Center where where amputees can go skiing and realize they can actually function outdoors, not the same as they were when they were young and healthy and had four limbs, but they still have light at the end of the tunnel there. So we take all the funds that we raise, we issue them as grants to these places, and every penny is audited, and every penny has to go to the cause. And if they do a good job managing our money to change veterans' lives, they know they can qualify for another grant. It's just a better way to help these soldiers that are coming back. They don't want our pity. They don't want a handout. What they really want is to get a job and provide for their families and make their house payments. And I feel like we're facilitating those first few steps for them getting back to what's going to be their new normal. And, and while I'm on that topic, uh, Terry Chandler and her, and her health issues lately, it's a sad testimonial to realize that even saints aren't bulletproof. Yeah. You know, here's yeah. a lady that has done so much for so many people, and now all of a sudden the health spotlight shined on her. And she's always shined it on the Make-A-Wish kids and the infinite hero injured veterans there. So she definitely can use all of our well wishes and prayers and, and, and thoughts so she can get back to the racetrack. Because I know for her, it's obviously the biggest concern is the health issue. But the psychology of it, she lives for drag racing. That woman is so hardcore and stands on the starting line more than the NHRA starter. And for her <laughs> not to be able to come out and watch her cars racing, you know, she was in Vegas but already experiencing some issues and never got to come to the starting line. Not only did Tommy Johnson, her driver, win in the Make-A-Wish Funny Car, but her nephew Tanner Gray won his first race. And I know that hurts her, but our long-term goal is to get her back to healthy so she can come back out and enjoy the fruits of her labors. Well, Jack, uh, yeah, just a tremendous story there. And what you're doing with this coins, uh, for listeners that don't know, Jack carries – these infinite hero coins down the racetrack, so they're going 300 miles an hour, and then they are, they're basically uh, auctioning uh, for a donation, selling for a donation that goes right to the Infinite Hero Foundation, raises yeah, a lot yeah. of money. And, and, uh, go to the and website and find that, out about that, right? Yeah, if they come to our pits, Doug, with 100 bucks cash, and all 100 bucks of that goes to the veterans, I give them a souvenir right out of the race car. We have raised, in the two and a half years we've done this program, over $330,000 in coins and, and another couple hundred thousand dollars in ancillary programs, auctions and fundraisers and things like that. And that's just the race team. And that's thanks to Terry Chandler. That's thanks to Don Schumacher. Don just recently joined the board of Infinite Hero. He's a volunteer on that and made a personal $50,000 contribution to, to change the lives. So this thing is so far reaching. It's, it's got strong roots and our goal is to grow the program and, increase the awareness so the people out there understand if I make a donation to Infinite Hero, how does that money go to help the veterans and what are the different programs that are, that are working for them? So yeah, if you don't make it to a race, you can go on infinitehero.org and just follow the prompts and you could buy a coin. Every one that we issue has been down the racetrack in my car and, and will be signed by me. <laughs> That's cool. Jack Beckman, thanks for joining us. Good luck this weekend coming up in Houston and we will look forward to seeing you in a couple weeks over here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Ye I can't wait. Thank you, Marty. Doug, I'll see you soon, buddy. Thanks, bud. That's Jack Beckman, 2012 Funny Car Champion. And when we return, we'll wrap up another great edition of the show. Restore your vehicle's lost power by cleaning your entire fuel system with Chevron Tecron Fuel System Cleaner. Right now, buy one bottle, get one free at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Keep your engine clean and improve performance with Chevron Tecron Fuel System Cleaner. Buy one, get one free at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Limit supply. See store for details. O, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Where will you be when NASCAR comes to Chicago's fastest loop? Four days of racing, tailgating, camping, and music come to Chicagoland Speedway September 14th through the 17th. Tickets for Sunday Chicagoland 400 are available now. Camping spots are available and selling fast. All kids tickets $25 off adult price and free on certain race days. Get your tickets and campsite now at ChicagolandSpeedway.com. Chicagoland Speedway, the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series playoffs start here. Live sports are the one true reality entertainment where a single dramatic moment can become timeless. 
In NASCAR, Motor Racing Network's live broadcasts elevate your senses to the sights, sounds, and struggles taking place on the racetrack. Keselowski to the bottom of the racetrack. He tries to slide up. Newman is there. Sideways is Keselowski. The power of radio to the imagination of the listener. Tune in to the Motor Racing Network. Visit MRN.com for an affiliate list in your local area. It's the Straight Line, brought to you by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Now, once again, here's Doug and Marty. All right, so a really good news, good news situation for next week's show. Next week's show will be an hour long, and you don't get to look at us. It'll be audio only, and what we're going to do is we're going to set up. It's either they don't get to look at us or they don't have to look uh, at us. Both, <laughs> yes. Yeah, the answer is yes. Uh, it will be set up at Rocky River Golf Course uh, where the breaks golf tournament is going to be and there's going to be lots of drag racers there's going to be lots of racers there and we're just going to set up and we're going to talk to everybody that we can get our hands on should be a lot of fun i know uh i know clay milliken uh, uh jack beckman probably matt hagan gosh i ron caps i can't even think of all the all the drag racers not to mention the nascar races i know felix about is coming out to play golf with oh, nice. us and junior johnson and uh, a lot of times we'll have the panthers coach out there Ron with Rivera, Ron Rivera, there. And, sure. and so we we'll have a lot of fun. There'll be a whole lot of fun, and uh, yeah, one hour show next week. So be sure and join us live next week. If you're coming to Z Max Dragway coming up on Saturday morning, we're going to have our pancake breakfast at Schumacher Pits on Saturday morning. Too. So it will uh, have more about that next week. A big thanks to Jack Beckman and Eric Enders for joining us. So for everybody involved, thanks for being here. We'll talk to you next week here on the Straight Line. You've been listening to the Straight Line. Presented by O'Reilly Auto Parts, The Straight Line is the show for drag racing fans and was brought to you by Hercules Tires. Tune in again next Thursday on MRN.com and the MRN app. The Straight Line is also available on demand in MRN.com's media center, on our Facebook page, on YouTube, and in iTunes or the Google Play Store. The Straight Line is a production of the Motor Racing Network.